Welcome back. Next, we'll take a look at how to combine dictionaries together. So again, as with lists, we can use this join operator, which is the comma character, and it will merge two dictionaries together. So in this example here, I've got D1 with these three keys and D2 with these three keys. So note all the keys are different. And when I use join and do D1 join T2, I'm simply appending the D2 dictionary onto the end of D1. You can see FD and MS, FT have been added here. Okay, um, but what about when the keys are common to both? Let's look at what happens. So in this example here, I've got D1 and D2, and they both have this KX um, entry. Um, so we can actually use the keyword enter. Um, I don't think we've come across that yet. So if we want to know a little bit more about that, let's head to our reference card and we can go down to enter and you'll see it will give back an intersection of two lists or dictionaries. So basically any common keys in the case of dictionaries will be returned. So you can see here, I'm getting the KX key returned. So that's good to know I do have common keys. Um, and then if I join this dictionary as before, so first of all, I'm gonna do D1 join D2, and then I'm gonna do it the other way around. So D2 join D1, let's look at what happens. Um, so instead of getting a new row returned or, or appended on for KX, um, it will be updated with the value from D2. So D1 had the value of 30 and D2 the value of 100. And you can see the 100 is prevailing here. So whatever's on the right hand side in this operation is what will prevail. Um, and then if we do D2 join D1, you'll see I start out with my D2 dictionary, which is KX, FD, MRP. Apple and IBM are joined on and then KX is updated from 100 to be 30. Okay, and we're just showing here these are not equivalent. So have a go with this exercise here, just testing that. Um, and then we look at coalesce. So we've seen this carrot character earlier and we used it for the fill operator. So let's just hop over to the reference card again. And I'm just going to look up um, for this. And you see I've got fill, which we've seen in the previous video. And then I'm looking at the coalesce here. And this is just saying merge key tables, ignoring nulls. And it also works for dictionaries. So in the case where we have D1 and D2 here, um, when I use D1 join D2, like we've seen before, so when I have A, B, C, and then B, C, D, when I join these, we said the value of D2 prevails, which in this case, C is a null. So my resulting dictionary has a null value for C. But when I use coalesce, um, it's basically smart enough to figure out that the value in D2, which is my right hand side, is a null. So when there's nulls, um, it will keep the value from the other dictionary that's non-null. So for example, here you see A, B and C. So A remains the same because it only exists in the left hand side. Um, B exists in D2. Um, so B changes from 20 to be 200 so it's taking that d2 value of b um, and then c you see it's taking the d1 value so it's 30 um, and that's because we have a null here it's gonna say actually i know that's a null i'm not gonna keep that i'm gonna keep the d1 value um, so basically coalesce is a little bit smarter than join here if that's what you want to do okay um so have a go with this exercise um to use that coalesce operator. And then finally, we'll just touch on mathematical operations. So we've mentioned already at the beginning of this module that dictionaries are first order data types and we see we can do things like add an atom to them or add a list of the same length. Um, and we can also add dictionaries to each other. So in this case here, I've got um, three keys in both and I've got the common keys FD and KX. So when I do something like run a simple plus operator on them, um, any of the common keys will be added together. So you'll see FD and FD here have been added together, which is 220. And then IBM remains because it didn't exist in the second one. It'll just return unchanged. Um, KX has been updated. So it's 30 plus 300 is 330. And then MRP was in the second one. So it returned MRP unchanged. Okay. Um, so have a go with this exercise, just testing that. And, and that brings us to the end of the dictionaries module. Um, so we did cover quite a bit. Um, this is just really a basic introduction to dictionaries. And we looked at um, how we can create dictionaries, 
the implicit dictionary typing uh, column dictionaries. Then we looked up doing um, dictionary retrieval. So we, we know we can use the function notation to do the key lookup. And then we do the reverse lookup using the question mark, which is our find operator. We know we can amend dictionaries and we've seen a lot of common functionality that we know already from our list module. So we can update using colon, we can remove entries using drop, which is the underscore, we can subset, which is doing the take operator, which is where hash, and then we can append, which looks the exact same as doing update. And then finally, in this video, we looked at combining dictionaries. So using join and also coalesce, as well as doing things like adding dictionaries to each other. Okay. Um, so don't forget you have also the quiz um, exercises available to you for some additional um, testing. So in here you'll find lots of fun examples to go through. Okay, so thanks very much and hopefully I'll see you in a future module very soon.